Hello, beautiful diamonds of light. It's your girl, Diamond of Light. And I'm on here with an intuitive energy reading for the mind, body, soul, and spirit. Okay. Today is Thursday, September the 29th, 2022. I speak all as well with each and every one of you all. Y'all, I'm actually doing this early today. You can see it's daylight out. I mean, I got the, one of the, the curtains closed, but <clears throat> excuse me, it's daylight out. So, yeah, I can't say I've done much today. I mean, it's the typical for me. I'm a homebody. I don't, as far as going to take care of groceries or if I go out and pick my daughter up from school or something like that, to the store, that's about all I do. I'm always in the house. It ain't like I want to be always in the house. But it's like right now, I kind of don't have a choice. It's all, it's all good. It's, I'm content. You know what I'm saying? I know a lot of people, you know, had to be isolated during COVID and during the pandemic. Oh, shoot. Maybe I shouldn't say that, but whatever. During the pandemic, <clears throat> we all was up in isolation. But, y'all, I was already... When that hit, it wasn't nothing new for me because I was already living that life, basically. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I went out here and there over the years and did things, but past 10 years of my life yeah I've been a homebody pretty much in the house in the house I tell you children will change your life I mean but um life will change your life <laughs> you know it ain't just about children's life because some people have kids and still get to live their life to the fullest we got real family and help and you know but it's like due to my back condition and um not being able to really provide for myself and just not getting out really don't care to have friends because I've always been the type of soul or person that like hung around older people. Or I didn't hang out with females. I hung out with dudes. And you can't really hang out with dudes when you got a dude. I mean, <laughs> not for no reason. Like, um, But, yeah, so I've been pretty much a homebody. My life is what people consider boring. <laughs> but I find time to be creative. It gives me a lot of time to heal, you know. It has gave me time to heal. It has gave me time to do some soul searching. So I don't regret. I don't regret it. Do I get irritated by it sometimes? Yeah, cause I'm like, it's got to be more than like this. Cause it's like it seems like it's one thing, one hit after another after another. Then when you just when you think things smooth sailing, then you go bam, you know. <sighs> So it's pretty much been my life, like, just like I remember. I'll be doing really good, and then I'll know what, boom, tower moment, tower moment, tower moment. But those tower moments only made me stronger. Everything that I've had to endure only made me go in more, inward. So, it's not bad. It's not all bad at all. It's about being content and finding happiness. Peace. Even when you got the minimum. Even when you ain't got two, but two dimes in your pocket. Being grateful. Even if you don't got what you want to eat, but you have something to eat. You know? You might not be where you want to be, but you're somewhere. It could be worse. When you think about what just happened in Florida, what's happening in China, what's happening all over the world, all these disasters, all these catastrophes. When you think about the casualties, when you think about a lot of people that's out here hurting and demonically possessed and just not loving themselves, you take a look at who you are. You take a look at where you're at. And you sit with it for a minute. You got to think it all through. 
that's what keeps me from going back to my old ways. So like that ain't who I was. I was kind of forced and suppressing and you know going through a lot. And once I learn how to heal and go inward, I don't want to go back to that. I like being aware and awareness and healing and growing and knowing and connecting with Source Creator God. I like where I'm at mentally and emotionally today. Sometimes emotionally, I ain't so good. People might think I'm a little batshit crazy, but I ain't. I got plenty of damn sense. When you know that you know, people want you to think you're crazy. You don't know, but you know. Because they don't want you to think you're their own point with your abilities, you know. <laughs> Calling their asses out and shit. But, um... Yeah, you know, you just have to work with yourself and just look at everything and play it all out. That's what keeps me going. My accomplishments. No, I don't have a lot. I'm not near where I want to be in life. And I'm going to be 40 in a couple of months. Am I happy? I'm grateful, but am I happy? I'll be lying if I said I was, but I'm content and I'm grateful. I live in gratitude and I live in self-love despite all. I feel like innately and holy that I deserve better and I'm doing all I can to accomplish that and accumulate that the best that I can physically. Trust me, because if I was the built, strong keto with the, like I used to be, oh, I've been a go getter. You talk, sitting still? Who's sitting still? Who, me? See, God had to set me down. <laughs> but it still hurts me that I can't at least, you know, physically go earn the book. Wow. Maybe God just don't want me working a nine to five. But yet, with me still doing, I do. I I've been doing readings and stuff for years. I've been painting for years, going on four and a half years now, and I ain't made a dime off of it. I tried to start a website and to put art clothing, artwear, and all this stuff. I kind of started that artwear stuff and seeing other people doing it, and you know, I had a lot of people hating on me, not support me. So called family, friends, enemies. Foes, like a lot of people see me, see my position, but they were just so jealous and envy of it. I didn't get support, and I still don't today. Mind you, and I'm just telling my story. And the reason why I'm telling my story, not out of pity, and this won't nobody feel sorry for me. I'm just trying to motivate you and inspire you to no matter if you have a backbone, a strong backbone or not, no matter if you have supporters or not, you be your greatest supporter. You keep going for you. This is your journey. This is your healing. This is your growing. You growing for you to be better soulfully. It ain't about the material. I know those things will come. Because God has promised me that. God gave me these things to do. God, God gave me art. I didn't want to do this. I kept being called to it. Go get a poster board. Go paint this. Get a certain this color. Go no, you need paint this. You know, no, I don't want to paint with I'm in school at the time. But I became obedient. I surrendered and I did it. And I've been doing it ever since. And it's been helping me grow and heal. I've been had a YouTube page for years now and I only got forty seven subscribers. I might get one or two views here and there, 10 at the most. But I know people watching me. I don't get it. I know they watch me because I be seeing it. And yet at the same time, I don't know. You know, I be hearing lately that people say that people can uh, hex up your social media. <laughs> I know a lot of people don't put a lot of negative energy towards me, towards my health. That's why my back like this. I know exactly who did that. Um... I know who started most of the chaos of what, my well-being and my... It started with my family, then it trickled on to relationships and so on and so on. And then people I don't even know, strangers. And then my family's still them. But, um... Despite all, despite the not having support, 
because I have potential to do great things. I'm very intuitive. I'm very intelligent. I'm very creative. I'm very, I have a lot of things that I present for myself. I do this for me. This is my healing. This is what God called me to do. And I'm content with it. And despite if I never, ever become successful doing this, I'm still successful. My soul is successful. My love is successful. And I know as long as I'm raising my um, frequencies and vibrations, when I say I'm not happy, I'm not happy with my condition, my circumstances, where I'm at in life and I'm about to be 40. I want a whole lot more. But I'm content. I want happiness and love, health, well, all those areas. But I'm content. And I live in gratitude because it can it can be worse. I've been I've been in worse situations. No matter how I accumulated, it happened. I've been down very very dark roads in my life. But I was the light to help me see. I was even the light in the midst of my darkness. When I was self-sabotaging. People were trying to make me go crazy and stuff with all the dark energy and everything. It's a lot of stuff that I've been through. And I've overcome all of those obstacles. In some people's eyes, I'm not supposed to be here today. Not where I'm at. I'm supposed to probably be dead up under prison, in a mental house, and some old stuff. <laughs> But I'm here, and I'm grateful. And that's just, just, that's just it. That's all I'm, I, I'm, I'm here to be an inspiration through my journey, through my self-realization as I continue to grow. Gratitude is the most important thing to help you get. Gratitude and self-love is the most important things to help you get through your life, your journey, no matter what it looks like. You got to paint the whole picture. Because if you paint bits and pieces, you don't know what the heck you're looking at. Even if the paint, at least when the picture of the painting is finished, you can try to figure it out and make it what you want to make it. But it's complete. Now, on to the next journey. But this, I created this. I was given this. Through source. Through my abilities that was activated within me because I chose to do the work. My healing journey and my growing is so much more wealthier than anything else. See, nobody can move that. Nobody can shake that. Okay, I've been homeless. I've been hungry. I've been abused. I've been bit down. I've been ridiculed. I've been everything. But I'm still here. And I'm proud. I'm proud that I've overcame so many obstacles. And I'm going to continue to. You understand? So, the moral of the story is pressure for me only creates the beautiful diamond of light. Okay? Let's see what we got going on. Let's see what we got going on. on, on. Mm. All right, beautiful diamonds of light. And it's your Oracle Dad. What is the store for the beautiful diamonds of light to collect? What is it that you energetically want us to know for the mind, body, soul, and spirit? <clears throat> we thank you for divine truth and clarity. Yeah, y'all, this is my little uh, space station, Zeta, uh, warrior, royalty that I draw. I had a, I did a video on this a while back on TikTok. It's on, I think it's on YouTube, too. Yeah, but... um. I painted this some months ago. Actually, I painted this when I was going through all my distress in North Carolina. I painted this. So I did have time. Found time to paint, despite it all. Because <clears throat> it wasn't easy being there. And this was meditation for me. And being able to go to this beautiful river every day. Like, if I didn't have that river to go to, get out in nature and my, my paint and my meditation techniques for that. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I would have been able to stand myself. But I'm grateful for those resources. God gonna always give you what you need in the midst of the storms, y'all. Mine, I can guarantee you that. Okay? But yeah, this is my little galactic 
you know, I was telling people about the Galactic World Wars and the space station, and telling them about the sun and how it's a portal and a lot of ships come through it. You might not seem like, like the sun ain't told us too damn hot. Y'all, you don't know what can be staying in heat up there. What, what kind of technologies are advanced civilizations, you know? And maybe it's something on this planet that, uh, uh, a gas or something on this planet that makes the sun hot. Who knows, you know? <laughs> By the soul, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I'm saying. I don't have spirit. But I don't know. I just was got to paint it. The intuitive energy reading for it is in the link in the bio on YouTube. Or, you know, just go to my previous videos on TikTok and check it out. Beautiful God's power over there. What is in store for the beautiful diamonds of light, the collective? I just thought I'd put a little art in here today because that's what I do. I have a lot of art that's in tools and stuff that I need to put back in. Um, frames. I have to take them off the frames to travel. Because I want to leave it on my hard work behind. All my creations. So I'll take them wherever I go. In my tubes. <laughs> yeah. So, but some of them I was able to keep on praying. Now, actually, since. Since we've been here, we've only been here since July, August, September, right? Somebody be October. I've done three paintings since we've been here. One. Well, I finished one and then I did. No, yeah, I've done three. Okay, I did my mother. I did the. I finished the the um seven chakras like superpower superhero chicks i did my mother i did the um mermaid one not long ago and i just finished the uh, dragon so i've done i've done three finished one and did three since i've been here in the past um july august september three, two two almost three months mine so you know if I'm focused, I used to do about a paint a month. <clears throat> if I'm focused and I'm giving things. Yeah. I could say over the past three and a half years, I have about 50 paintings. Yeah. But I still have all the originals. That's who I gave away a long time ago when I first started painting art. It went my best, but it was, I did it. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> so I'm going to tell you that. I'm not saying I'm the best artist, but I don't think I did do bad and never painted all my life. Okay? I was one little child that was giving utensils and all the things she needed to be creative. I was always hungry or stressed or some stuff trying to survive, okay? So, <laughs> uh, I wasn't able to do those things. I really didn't start painting until those three years ago, three and a half years ago, four years ago. It was the first time I started painting, okay? So I'm proud of what, and I've never went to art school or anything, so I'm I'm proud of my growth. It just activated in me. And like I said, God gave me that. God told me to do these things, and it sped up, and it got good really fast, and I was told that was going to happen for me. Basically, I unlocked some of my DNA memory. It was already innately in me. Like a lot of us have abilities and talents within us. We just got to do the work so God can give us our... Gifts. That's why people want to steal people gifts and stuff. But it got to be already DNA encoded in you. You can't be just stealing people the gifts. Even if you try to mimic, it's not going to be the same. You're not going to be able to do it like that person do it. <clears throat> then you're going to get frustrated because you're not doing it out of passion. I do this out of passion. I do this out of love. I really love what I do. So I keep doing it. And it helps me grow. It brings in so much peace. It's meditation for me. <clears throat> so... Yeah, I wonder what this video is talking about. Beautiful diamonds of light. Anytime I'm up here, I'm up here to inspire. Give my story. Show you some art, maybe, and give you a message. You know what I'm saying? This is, this is what I do. Okay, and spirit. That's what I do. Maybe some like it, maybe some don't. Whoever I'm meant to reach, that's what I do.
Beautiful Masculine Mental Organ Activation Day. What in store for the beautiful time for the collective for the mind, body, soul, and spirit? And give us a lot of divine truth and clarity. Yeah. 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 I just want to inspire everybody to be their greatest self and stop, stop hating on other people. Damn. You don't know what nobody been through. What they had to do to, to get to where they at. Y'all kills me. Not literally, but... Oh. Y'all kills yourself. Put it like that. <laughs> and I ain't wishing death on nobody. Y'all be ashamed of yourself. Don't think people deserve stuff. I ain't even got nothing motherfucker still mad. <laughs> Cause I'm me. Oh. That's how people be towards people though. You need to go heal. All right, and spirit. And let's get this Lemurian inspiration on Lemurian that Get some liberty. Get some inspiration for the mind by side of the Give us a lot of truth and clarity. What is it that you want us to do? Thank you. And I'm up here to tell you like it is. Cause I don't hold nothing back. I'm just that type of person. And you don't like what I'm saying? Close your ears. Change the channel. <laughs> I can keep for you. I might be ruffling a few feathers or triggering some people. Hell, I get triggered every day. I'm still here and I'm all right. And I'm going to get through it. <laughs> so for you. <laughs> Okay. This round bridge keep coming out. I want to put on my specs today. Well, I gotta put them on every time, don't I? Eventually. <laughs> All right, let's get into this read. Why don't we got action in reverse for the mind? We have her, her body, devotion upright, nine. Uh, I'm adaptability upright. We have the two of cups upright. We got the four swords in reverse. And we got contemplation, silence, nor release and control. <sighs> so this two of cups energy to me is always like represents the lovers, um, relationship, you know, passion. You know what I'm saying? Um, like that. Passion for oneself. Um, love. Love for within. You loving your whole body, your whole self, and body, and your masculine, your feminine. That's what, for me, it represents. You know? Um, it, 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 it's like good health as well. So it's like... With this, though, I'm getting, okay, the action card in reverse, devotion, adaptability. Some, somebody's been contemplating on taking action. Maybe in their relationship, in their health here, with the four swords here. And I see this to me as like going within, like really vitalating. Bi bi is it vitalating? Yeah, vitalizing. That's what I'm vitalizing yourself. Um, so to me, this represents health and oneself, as you can see for me when I get out of this card. Okay, so it's like embracing oneself to help. It's like somebody is not taking action and being a, um, devoted to taking care of their health. They're letting their health slip slip away. Or the relationship. It could be relationship too. Somebody is not taking actions to being devoted to working out their relationship. They're not taking time to renew it and revitalize it, right? It's like, you know, adaptability here. It's like you happen to stop contemplating on going forward with these things. Um, because you're going to have to adapt to, you know, realizing that these things need to be addressed, okay? Don't put them, don't put them off. You got to have, you got to be devoted to, that's what the devotion card is here for. Stop contemplating. You need to be a, a, a devoted to healing yourself. You need to be a devoted to healing your relationship. Stop, uh, you know, and with being devoted and taking those actions that you're not taking, you're going to have to adapt to the changes because a lot of people don't like change. And because you don't like change and you don't want to go within and be well, like you complain, um, 
all this or like except for me i got a chronic back issue it ain't really nothing i can do about it but try to eat better and not eat meat and i eat stuff to irritate it cause inflammation you know take it easy you know what i'm saying but if i'm sitting up here knowing i got this back issue right and i'm going out here lift this heavy stuff and i'm doing stuff to make my stuff my back worse i'm eating unhealthy stuff that's causing me inflammation and i'm doing stuff knowing i got this issue to make it worse then that's on me, right? If you're overeating, knowing you got uh, diabetes or heart issues or stuff like that, you're not taking care of yourself. Or if you're you in your relationship and y'all arguing and fussing and not tending to each other's needs and it's bickering back and forth. Stuff like that that we're overlooking and not wanting to take action in the fixing. But we want to complain and we contemplating on whether we want to move forward with these things when Source Creator is telling you to move forward, baby. Because these things that you're not addressing are only going to keep you stagnated. Okay? Let's get over here to the body. You know what I'm saying? That's one situation. It can all relate. It can all be different. Sometimes at each section is different scenarios for different people. Sometimes they all go together. Sometimes it... Just listen, okay? Take what resonates. That's all I got to say. We got community upright here. We got the happy family, which showed up in the previous reading in reverse, but a different, this is the body. We got the happy family in reverse. We got our community upright, happy family in reverse. We got um, Rattle Freya, Goddess Freya, Radical Acceptance upright. We got Goddess Cherry doing potential upright. And then we have God is Oshun, gener generosity in reverse. Okay. We got the sun card here. The death card here. The king of swords up right here. And we got the eight of pentacles in reverse. Hmm. We have crown porter, divinity, unity, separation up right. Dreamscape, dream work, subconscious imagination up right. And we got loneliness. Reconnection home. Mm. So these are definitely family matters. These are definitely matters to do with the family. And here, okay, we got the King of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles. So this got to do with some type of energy. Could be masculine. <clears throat> okay. I think Swords are associated with the air sign. Yeah, cups is water. Pentacles is earth. Yeah, I gotta get that right. <laughs> then swords is air, and um, wands is fire. So yeah, so this is this is this could be an air sign, <clears throat> male or female. Um, but it depends on what kind of energy they in. Do they operate more in their masculine? But this is to do with money, finances, right? Something to do with regaining something, rebuilding something, right? Because it's the Eight of Pentacles, rebuild, re, the rebirth, rebuilding, regaining. So somebody is warring. The family is unhappy. The community is having problems with radical acceptance. We got generosity in verse here, right? So is somebody not being generous and had the potential to be? And I guess it's causing family matters. Um, a lot of family, somebody in their family, the sun card is here, so dang, and the death card. Help me with this spirit. Isolation. Home. So somebody's having issues. Family issues. They're disconnected. And they happen to come in the sense uh, to acceptance, radical right, concessions that the potential for them to continue to live in the lifestyle that they were is is not capable. They're starting to go through a lot of stuff. I'm getting like you, it's 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 been like one chaos after another chaos. They have the potential to come together and make things right, but this King of Swords, whoever in this energy right here, they just causing the most most uh most uh the the most issues 
um, the death card, though. Maybe they need to dead this issue. Maybe they need to dead this issue and find like, the light in it is what I'm getting. Um, separation. Yes, yeah, some separation going to take place. Some loneliness. So, a lot of families are separating. Or somebody who's dealing with money issues in their family is it's chaos there. Maybe somebody died is what I'm getting with the death card here. People are fighting. Family is, that's it. Thank you, spirit. Family is fighting over money that was left after somebody death died. And, and the reason why I said it because this key, this key, something like a, a lock to something, a safe maybe, the door to something. So it's like a family is fighting a, a, over something that somebody left to them. Like who's going to get the key? Who the key? Who who it belongs to? Right? And they're all in this discord. And it's like because, of the, you know, obviously the person that end up getting something, it causes it caused chaos. And, and they weren't generous. <clears throat> they was keeping something from this whoever this represents the sun. This this bright energy, this light being, it was keeping something from this person. They didn't want to see the light in sharing the 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 money or the resources. Yeah, it's something that somebody had built and made and created and left for somebody. <clears throat> and yeah, a lot of separation. It it was it was from a divine place, but. They left this person out in the cold. They left them isolated. They left them lonely. Like, they didn't... This one person was left alone, like, was not a part of whatever this family was trying to come together and do. And it's been causing a lot of discord, right? Yeah, it's some family issues over money. The number eight... Uh, 88 can be very significant. 16. We got uh, air sign, earth sign here. Yeah, it's just chaos in the family. It's chaos and it's over money. They give it to God. If you if your family y'all you and your family is fighting over anything to do with money, period, you having money problems, you know, you have to just give that to source creator and let him take care of it. Because at the end of the day, anything done in the dark is gonna come to light anyway. I, mean, I feel sorry for whoever having these issues because it's petty. It's petty stuff that people do for money. Like people literally kill their own folks for a little piece of change. You know, it's sad, but it's true. Let's go over here to the soul. We got broken heart upright and the angel of balance. Didn't I say this angel of balance been showing up? Baby? This is the month of balance. So things are being balanced. So whoever this is, is, you know, whoever this beautiful light being is, who family might have been keeping things from you, because that's what I'm getting that. Don't worry. Everything will come to light. It will be balanced, okay? So don't, don't stay broken hearted about it. But yeah, we have the angel of balance here and the broken heart. We have the wise leader, Lapona here, upright. We have the princess of wands in reverse. Emotional freedom, inspirational creation, alchemy elements, innovation, harmonic resolution, anger, negative and transmutation. So, this wise leader, yes, exactly what, see? See, this is confirmation. See, this wise leader right here is the sun. The sun, this light being, Okay. Your number 14 can be associated with you. Number five, you know what I'm saying? Um, your name can start with an L and with an A. Um, you have this warrior mentality, whoever you are. And you are, you're, you are a wise leader. You're very wise. You have this leadership mentality about yourself. You play a leader role. You, you, you're like a leader, right? But you're broken hearted because you know about you know about this. So you know about what your family done. 
You already know. That's what the card is showing. Because you're broken hearted about it. The Prince of Wands here. Yeah. Some petty person. That's having man. Man who eats. <laughs> Stuff ain't right. Can't get right. <laughs> um. Been been sending all this beautiful. I mean, not beautiful. This you're beautiful. Been sending all this backwards ass energy towards you. This negative negativity and this anger. This Prince of Wands, whoever this is, is I guess they've been playing the energy. I don't know, but this Prince of Wands right here has something to do with this with this whole situation. So it's not only this King of Swords. It's, it's also this Prince of Wands energy what I'm getting. They mighty on the war, the mighty on the 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 warring, the bullshit, the chaos. They started all the chaos and they they the one trying to figure out a little little negative energy, the negative negativity that's sent in your way. But balance is being brought to you, like balance is being brought for this situation. Like you already know that this thing has happened. Because you, you know why balance is being brought? Because you know how to transmute that negative energy that was sent to you. You're the alchemist. You know alchemy. You're the elements of your innovation. You're, you're an inspirational creator. And you're flowing and rebalancing yourself. Despite all of this, you know, kickback. All of this negative BS from your family. So, yeah, that's... That's what... I guess this, um, somebody, that's what this, somebody in your family is having health issues because they won't release control of knowing this stuff. Maybe you don't know. Maybe you know, but you don't know. They don't know you know is what I'm getting, but you know. So, but somebody is ill Okay, somebody's ill, and they're not tending to their sicknesses, their illness. They like, and they're ill because it's just karma, and they can't take action into, you know, fixing this situation. That it's too far down. Like, it must be somebody's having maybe prostate issues. <laughs> That's what I'm picking up on. So this could be an older guy, old man, this King of Swords. Um, yeah, he having health problems. He's being weighed down with his issues. Just starting all this chaos. But it ain't just him, though. It's the family. But this is one person that's mad, bent hell over the situation. Like, don't feel like you deserve anything. Like, why her? Who is she? type of stuff type of energy okay we have um over here in the spirit we have envy here y'all this might not be making sense because it's like all over the place this is it's scattered energy okay because your family is scattered it's like they only have sense of their self right now they confusing the fuck out of me because they don't know which way they go they don't know what to do right now like the higher what spirit tell me is they ass is they stuff is catching up to their asses. Okay. But we have envy here. They envy you. <clears throat> we have envy here. We have goddess Kali, liberation. Baby, you will be liberated. And goddess Maya, illusions in reverse. They can't hit you with those illusions. We have a hair fun here. We got spiritual help. The spiritual realm is helping you. The three of pentacles in the first. You will no longer be trapped in this low vibrational, not having anything energy. And you will not have to deal with these challenges and blocks. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's going to be their issue. They're going to be stuck in this energy now. And I think that's what they're fi fighting over because the coins that they thought were theirs are not. And so they're, gonna, they're getting to get back. And they're starting to go into this poverty energy. Okay, and they finna be having all kind of challenges, blocks. The same thing that they try to betrayal. They betrayed you. The same energy that they try to send your way, baby. They gonna have to deal with. I heard that 
Dan, it just like death. Somebody literally, whoever the sick person is, that's why the death, death card here too. They finna go like soon. I mean, I don't wish death on nobody, but they're not taking care of themselves. This is something they accumulated for themselves. It's karma. They wanted the same thing for you is what I'm hearing. They wanted the same thing for you. But the tables are turning. Their health is plummeting. Their health is plummeting. And there's nothing they can do about it. And the whole family is... They the one broken hearted is what I'm getting because balance is being brought. You're being liberated, baby. They envy the fact that what they tried to do and get away with, they couldn't. They thought they had it all. Money. They thought they had money in the bag. Uh, uh. But you and me tell them, just throw it in my bag. <laughs> I'm just saying what I'm getting. It's sad, but it's true. What, what is wrong with family, y'all? Like, toxic as fuck. Need to go heal. Man, it's sad. I know it's hard at times. Like, it's the, the world is up on the light. You know what I'm saying? But these people been did this to you before uh, the whole, you know, inflation and all this stuff happened. This, they've been did this to you years ago. It's just backfiring because we are in judgment. I've been telling people for years that this secret is going to be coming out. Go on YouTube and listen to my videos over the years, especially the last two years. My readings. Just about everything I spoke of has came to pass. Even in my opinions. Okay. We have for inspiration a full spectrum, the real the Ram Bridger and the sounds of the universe. Y'all, when I get this, I've been getting these lately. Like the Ram Bridger to me is like see you at the crossroads. That's what I'm getting. See you at the crossroads, crossroads, bone thugs and harmony, y'all. I ain't heard that song for hell long. See you at the crossroads, you know me lonely. Somebody going through crossroads. That's that Ram Bridger, the full spectrum, the sounds of the universe. Somebody going back. Somebody's leaving. Somebody's going home. I guess they're going home. They're going to have to go to that ram fur, that ram bridge, and get, ju get judged, get those, get those scales weighed. The universe has called them. Source Creator has called them. Actually, they sent themselves there. They have to look at the full spectrum of things, too. They're going to have to look at the full spectrum. You see these skull heads here? It's like, what I'm getting here is, they literally try to make four attempts on your life. Of putting you in the grave. It's sad. So now somebody else is gonna see this. The health problems. Like I say, it's saying a king of swords, but it could be a woman too. You know? But most likely it's probably a masculine energy. Yeah, because we see it's something this this prince is in this cup standing. You see right here how he got this cup over his phallus. It's like that right now that told me that he was having like prostate problems or something. Maybe got prostate cancer. That he fighting. I don't think it's no cure for that. Change the diet. I mean we can cure anything, really. We change our diet and you know, we can prepare, like, detox. Like, really, you can get rid of stuff. But it's hard to put in that work. A lot of people don't want to do that. So, especially when they got a lot of toxic habits. So, and I guess whatever he's dealing with too far gone anyway. And it's because of the karma. Is, the karma is really the get back. Yeah, this is all over the place. We got scattered minds going on right now, so it's a sin. They are scattered at the mind. They don't know what to do with themselves, the whole family. 
They are not happy with each other. That's why it's in reverse. But, you know, hmm. We just gonna send them love, whoever this is for. I hope it resonates. If it don't, it's not for you. Wherever the shoe fits, okay? Wherever the shoe fits, you know? And this is the message for you all today. Until next time, beautiful dimes alike. Bye now.